guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome back to yet again a brand new video. And for today's video, boys, we are back with another modification from Maxton Designs. Let's get straight into the box quick. So now that the box is open, let's actually show you guys what's in here. And honestly, they should put this shit in Harrods because this shit is a rip-off. Inside the box, we've got this from Maxton Designs. Let me pop you right there. Look. Oh, jeez. That's it. That is where my money has gone down the drain. <laughs> Yo, I want you guys to guess how much I paid for this. Let me, let me give you three answers you can choose from, right? The first answer is two pounds. The second option is 70 pounds. And the third option is 120 pounds. Let me, let me give you a second to guess. 70 fucking quid for two pieces of plastic the size of my fucking mug. I'm actually pissed. I'm actually pissed. So as you guys can see, we've got the front splitter. Absolute beauty. You can store if you want. You can, I don't know, if you've got a toy or something, you can put it there. You know, it holds your coffees in the morning. It's it's banging. It's banging, boys. We've got the Maxton Design side skirt, which is the same thing as this. And then the last piece, which is actually this, is the rear spats. There you go. And it will finish the splitter kit. So yeah, let's get the car jacked up, turned around, and put these on. Honestly, my bank's gonna call me saying that somebody's trying to scam me out of 70 quid for a piece of bloody plastic is, oh, jeez. Before we got any further installing the rear spats on the car, I want to quickly say a thank you to today's sponsor, Take it away, Michael. Are you guys like me? Do you guys like saving those peas when shopping online here in the UK? Well, if you do, Mr. Cheapskate himself is here to show you guys today's sponsor, Pouch. Pouch is actually a free, free? free? browser extension that automatically searches the web for the best discount codes and applies them automatically at checkout when you buy something. It couldn't get better than that. Let me quickly show you guys an example. I want to give this beauty a service. I'm gonna hop on Euro car parts and I'm gonna get some good old oil, a nice oil filter, cabin filter, and some coolant. What is that price? However, this is where Pal troops in, steals your missus, and pops up to give you a variety of discount codes and automatically applies the best one to save you the most amount of money on your order. That has actually saved us 47 quid just by pressing a button. So pretty much I just sneezed and saved myself 47 quid. I could buy 40 packets of chocolate for that. Pouch actually works on over 3,000 UK websites, more UK e-commerce sites than any other extension that offers similar service. Installing Pouch is one of the easiest things to do, guys. My nan could probably do it. Click my link in the description. Click this button here. Click this button here. Click this button here, this button here to pin it, and there. Bob's your uncle. You can now sit back, relax, and enjoy that moolah you're saving. I mean, you're probably going to splash it out on a McDonald's anyway, but... Click the link in the description, joinpouch.com forward slash I forward slash other stuff to download Pouch today and save those big bags. If you guys don't do this, you were probably dropped on your head as a kid, but who am I to judge? Right, so what I'm going to do first, I'm actually going to use this, um detailer to actually clean off underneath the where the wrist bat's gonna sit so let me quickly spray this on there oh my god it went in my fucking face Ooh. and i'm gonna do this just to clean it off so that when we remove this spat um you know in a year or something it will still be clean underneath wipe this down so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to pre-drill holes into this uh, rear spat so that once we line it up, we can just drill up um, through the pre-drilled holes and it'll just make the job easier for myself, you know? Now what we're going to do is we're going to peel this plastic off and honestly, rest in peace me. This is going to bomb like your day, this is. Watch. So obviously you can see it's not very nice right now, but it's got protective film on. Oh, look at that shine. Oh my God. 
Oh my days, wow. That looks like a piano black Rolls Royce. Pizza plastic that does. Still not worth 70 quid, but we'll, we'll deal with it. Genuinely haven't even installed one screw yet, pretty much. And it is turning out to be one of the hardest mods, or aesthetic mods, to do on the car. We screw a screw through the bottom, and then we have to put a, a nut on the top, and we have to hold this nut um, so it tightens. The problem is, there's like a tiny, tiny, tiny gap for me to, you know, reach through and put the nut onto the screw that's coming up from the bottom, and it's so hard to do. Right, and it's so a quick little update on the the, uh, the rear spot. I've drilled all four screws in, and literally I've just put the washers on, um, but there's no bolts on the inside. I'm not going to show you guys because you can't see, but there's no washers on it, which it does come with washers, but it feels extremely, extremely, you know, well put. That literally feels more stronger than my side skirts i mean i might not even install these washers finally we've added something to the back of the car and honestly that looks so sick the way it wraps around it literally looks like we're a fighter jet and we're about to go to war you know the back wing fam this was one of the hardest um ones to line up it just wouldn't sit properly um but yeah that's worked out quite well so what we need to do now is we need to move on to the next one so i'm going to move the jack out of the way if you guys uh, do modifications yourself like installing like diffusers and stuff like that or whatever like um, race fats I definitely recommend getting a piece of cardboard so that your knees don't look like your nan's cripply knees And secondly, I'd recommend getting a Phillips um, Drill bit screw if that makes sense Instead of using a screwdriver to screw them in which takes ages just buy one of these and a portable drill and Makes, makes screwing in screws 10 times quicker. In this world, we can't waste time. We can't. We've got pandas to save, all right? Right, a couple hours later, and the uh, rear spats are now on the car, and honestly, they look beautiful. They have completed the splitter kit for the car, and, you know, We've definitely got to do more things to the back of the car because that is beautiful. That is, it's a tiny, tiny design or a little piece of plastic that costs fucking 70 quid. Is it worth it? No, probably not. But look at this, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my God, that is fucking gorgeous. I feel like this kind of thing makes it so much more aggressive on the back of the car. It goes from like, um, you know, a pussy courser to a, a bit of a monster courser. I'm gonna get roasted for saying that, but I feel like it looks very aggressive on the back right now, even with just that. If, if anybody's standing right here, uh, you can actually press a button on this and it'll fling out and it'll cut their, cut their legs off, so. So you got the full splitter now. So it goes from the front, around the side, to the back. And I think they work so well as well with the new wheels. Yeah, um, the, the, the rear spats are, are fitted really, really nicely. Um, I did put one bolt on one of the screws on each side so that it will hold even if they start to loosen. I'm so damn happy with how it's turned out. So you've got the splitter, side skirt, rear, rear spats. And all we need now is a black bit for that bit, a diffuser. Um, so if you guys know uh, where to get a Corsa D diffuser from, let me know. A bomber car team that is jeez like it honestly looks like it's about to glide through the sky with that look at that aerodynamics something that's quite annoying about this um kind of like splitting 
spitter kind of stuff is they get so dirty though, they pick up so much dirt. That's gonna be one dirty motherfucker. Honestly boys, we gotta get some new stuff for the back of the car. Rear diffuser next, come on. For I know this car is only like aesthetically uh, nice, but I mean it's gonna be slow anyway. We can't really do much to it. If I got a turbo, it would do nothing to this car. Your nan would probably still beat me in a um, Volkswagen Polo. I mean, honestly.